Eleanor Mondale grew up in the public spotlight. She was only four when her father, Walter, became a U.S. Senator, 17 when he was elected vice president, and 24 when he ran for president and lost to Ronald Reagan. Yes, you're lovely. But as an adult, she blossomed in the TV spotlight. And its motto is dare to be different. She debuted on WCCO in the 80s, then moved on to CBS and other national networks. I love my job. Hello, Eleanor. Hey, Mark. During a 25-year television career. I interviewed Jay Leno. That was fun. Yeah. Along the way, there were romances with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Warren Zevon, among others, and brief marriages to Chicago Bears lineman Keith Van Horn and DJ Greg Malbin, known as Greg Thunder, then the one that lasted to musician Chan Poling of the suburbs. And Chan and I decided to move our wedding up because I didn't think I'd be alive in September, so we got married in June. That was in 2005 when the doctors found a baseball-sized tumor in the right front of her brain. She cut her hair to prepare for radiation and chemo. You might have a chance of holding onto your hair if you cut it really short um, yeah. because there's less weight on the hair shaft. And threw in a dose of attitude. My treatment for cancer was complete denial. <laughs> it worked very well for me. There's no way I have a brain tumor. I know I see the pictures, but there's no way I'm going to die. There's no way I'm sick. It worked. Within a year, the tumor was just the size of a speck. And she was back on CCO radio. Yeah, I'm not anywhere. dead. I'm not dead. That's, that's my favorite thing. How are you doing? I'm not dead. Her sense of humor never left. But by 2008, the cancer was back, this time requiring brain surgery at the Mayo Clinic. But after a few months, she was on the air and making jokes about her scar. I have a comb over. I used to judge people for this, but now I embrace it. And a high wind is my worst enemy. <sighs> there it goes. Still, the cancer returned again, and Eleanor returned to the family farm to fight it and spend time with her family and beloved animals. But this time, her humor and spirit couldn't beat it.